your big story. So let's say you're writing a feature. You have your big whole story, right? What's going to happen in Act 1, Act 2A, Act 2B, and Act 3. Then I like to break these up into these smaller circles to say, okay, Act 1, Act 2A, Act 2B, Act 3, right? I like to break it up like that. Um, and then from there, <clears throat> sometimes I'll go down to a scene level, but only if I'm specifically needing it for that scene, like if that scene isn't working. Also, what you'll notice is sometimes when you are uh, breaking down a particular scene, um, you'll notice that, for example, let's say you have a story circle here, right? And this is for a scene. This is a scene story circle. Um, what you'll have sometimes is one scene, one location, let's say, that handles this part of it. And then you might have a separate scene location that then handles this part of it, right? So you can have like, this is one scene and this is one scene. Sometimes it's, you know, one scene together, but uh, what you'll also see is like, we have a setup scene and then you have like a payoff scene where like something really changes in the next scene because of what was set up over here. Um, uh, there's a, man, what was that? I saw in a really good example of this is from like Yellowstone, um, I believe. But, but yeah, I would say focus specifically using story circles at this level, right? These two levels here, your acts and your big story you should really analyze through a story circle, but your scenes, um, I would say like less so, because if you're spending all of your time in your scenes, but your acts aren't working, then it doesn't matter how much time you're putting into your, um, <clears throat> into your scene story circles, because it's not actually working for the story overall. Sam Roland asks, what do I do if I don't have a complete story circle? Is it okay to leave it incomplete or I, or should I try to force something in the blank spots? You should try to force something in the blank spots. Now that probably sounds anti-righty or whatever, but yeah, like you need to have, well, so when you're trying to force something inside of the blank spots, what you're saying is you don't have an understanding of what's, what's actually happening here and why it's valuable right? So like, you're always going to have a character. They are always going to want something. And if you're going to send that character through a full movement of change where something is changing in the story, they're always going to have an initial problem. They're always going to have an initial action based on that problem. They're always going to make some sort of progress towards what they want here at the five, right? And have this get at some level, or, you know, you can also think about it as a find, um, or they, or a halfway progress there, then to actually create a character arc, you need this pivot here. You need two key problems in the story. If you're going to actually create character change, right? Cause we have to show a problem and then show character action and then show a new problem and then finally show new action. Right. And now you can actually show how did the character act here and how is the character now acting here to then create change. So if you're missing one of these pieces, you don't have a full movement of drama. You don't have a dramatic narrative um, or you don't have a character actually going through an arc of change. And therefore, you're, it's, it makes it way harder for you to actually say something of value in your story.